everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Autumn Essentials um, video which I'm going to be filming today. Um, I was going to do an autumn winter one but I was literally going through my stuff and I realised that I had quite a lot just for an autumn one so I think for this video I'm going to just keep it to sort of like autumn essentials so a little bit lighter than like big coats and things um, and then I'll do another winter wardrobe essentials one soon. Um, so yeah, I'm finally doing another YouTube video, I'm going to try and get back into it and do like one every one or two weeks. Um, um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe. If you don't already, I'll put my Instagram up here. You can have a little look on there. Um, I post outfit inspiration every day as well as like styling videos and stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure you head over there if you want to see more outfits. Um, but yeah, for today I've basically pulled out all of my favourite bits from my wardrobe at the moment. Um, I didn't really realise how much I loved like neutrals, but pretty much everything seems to be quite neutral. Um, so yeah, I've got my bottoms, my tops, my jumpers and my jackets, um, so yeah, I'll just go through them all and then I'll show you how I would style them. Um, I'll make sure I put everything in the description, so I'll put the size that I got um, and then you can shop everything through there. So yeah, let's get started. Before I get into the clothes, I'm actually going to start off with some of my favourite boots. I'm such a boot person, I literally wear them all summer, but I feel like in autumn they really make some of my outfits, so I thought I'd show you them first. Um, so these are the ASOS Athon boots, um, they are my favourite, I absolutely love how chunky the bottom bit is and I love how the far they got the leg as well, um, I just think these make any outfit look really cool, um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I wear them with like everything, um, so I wear them with like little dresses, you can wear them over leather trousers, you can even like tuck joggers into them and that looks really cool as well, um, but yeah these are my favourite autumn boots, even more so with these ones, um, I love wearing these with like my little summer dresses just with a cardigan over the top or a coat. Um, yeah, these are so so nice. These are from ASOS. I actually got these ones last year, but they do have some really similar ones this year as well. I love that they've got this like stretchy bit because it means they actually stay up my leg. Um, but yeah, I think these are definitely essential. Every sort of autumn they come back um, and I don't think they're ever going to go anywhere. So I think it's definitely good to invest in a good pair of them and you'll just wear them again year after year. And then the last pair of boots I wanted to show you is actually these new ones, which I recently got from Topshop. Um, I'm absolutely loving these because I feel like they're quite sort of like this year. Um, I haven't really seen like many cream chunky boots before in previous like autumn winter seasons, but yeah, I'm loving these. Um, I think they sort of add something a little bit different um, to an outfit rather than just having black boots all the time. I really, really love them. They're actually really comfy as well um, and I love how chunky they are. Um, so yeah, that's all the shoes that I'm going to show you today. There will be other shoes that I do wear um, when I show you the clips of me styling things. So if I wear any other shoes, I'll link them in the description. So I'm just going to go into the clothes and I'm going to start with probably my favourite um, autumn wardrobe essential, which is my Topshop leather trousers. Um, every year they bring back a new pair, so I think even last year I showed you some different ones because um, I just absolutely love them. Like I go on about them all the time. Um, but they're just so good because they're really nice and fleecy on the inside. Like, I would literally wear these to the cinema. I wear them to, like, fit and chill in. Um, and, yeah, they're just so easy to wear. Like, you can chuck anything on with them, really. Like, you can wear a big jumper, like, ooh. <laughs> you can wear a big jumper, like this one. Um, you can wear a check shirt. Um, you can wear, like, a big cardigan. Chuck a coat over them with some big boots. Like, there's so many ways to style these. Um, yeah, they're my absolute favourites. Yeah, I definitely recommend them. The next thing that I've got is a nice pair of joggers, um, especially this year when we're going to be at home quite a lot more, um, I thought it would be a good idea to get a few pairs of really nice ones, um, so I actually ordered these yesterday, um, they're from ASOS and I really like this colour, I'm loving like, all the different shades of brown that are coming in this year, um, and yeah, these are really really nice and oversized and so so soft and comfy. Um, so yeah, I would wear these out, like you can just wear them with like a jacket and like a little crop top with some trainers, um, you can even like tuck them into boots, um, yeah, I just think they look really cool and obviously I'm going to wear them a lot at home as well, I literally wear joggers like most days to be honest. The next thing that I've got is a nice pair of blue jeans, um, so I actually wear blue jeans all through summer, like I'll wear them on nights out with like little tops and heels, um, or just like, I love them with black, I think they look really nice with black with like trainers. So yeah, they're definitely still a wardrobe essential for me in autumn. Um, so these ones are from Topshop. I love a baggy jean. Like I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore. I love the silhouette that a baggy jean gives you. And I tend to wear them with like tighter tops. So like this. And it just creates like a really nice shape if you put a belt on in the middle. Um, so yeah, absolutely love those. I'll be wearing them all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to some shorts and skirts. So the first skirt that I've got... 
um, is this midi skirt from Topshop. Um, I absolutely love a midi skirt um, in autumn with some boots. So I would just wear it with a top like this one that I've got on, um, a belt, and then some boots. And I just think it's so nice and easy. And it's actually really comfortable as well, like really nice and flowy. Um, yeah, and it also looks smart as well. So like you could literally wear that to work, um, wear it out for a meal. You could literally wear it to so many different places. So that is definitely something that I would recommend getting a nice midi skirt. And then another trend which has sort of been going around pretty much all year I would say but I really really like it for autumn because it means that you can wear them with um, like over the knee boots like I showed you a minute ago um, is the tennis skirt. Um, so this one is just a plain grey Bershka one um, but I really like, like all the checked ones that you can get as well. I'll link a few of them in the description for you. Um, but yeah I just think they look really nice with like chunky um, or over the knee boots. And then I've also got these leather shorts which I got from Mango and they're the nicest leather short which I found. They've got really nice pockets on the back, they've got a belt in the middle and they're the perfect length and they're really high waisted as well. Um, so yeah, you'll have seen if you follow me on Instagram, I've styled these a few times already. Um, yeah, I think they look really cool um, with like high necks, like this is a really nice outfit with those over the knee boots that I showed you. Um, you can wear them with like a check shirt and like a little top underneath. Um, or you can even wear them with like a big baggy jumper sort of tucked in um, and then some over the knee boots um, and they also look really cool for like a night out as well with maybe like some heeled um, over the knee boots or like just heeled boots that come up to like your knee. So that is all of the bottoms that I had to show you. I'm now going to move on to a couple of dresses. Um, so the first one that I've got is this knitted midi dress um, which I got from ASOS. It's got these really nice um, like volume sleeves and it's really really nice and warm um, so I actually did post this on my Instagram I've got a picture of me wearing it with this gold belt and then the cream top shot boots which I showed you a minute ago um, I just think this is such a nice easy outfit like if you're going out on a Sunday for a roast or something and you just want something to chuck on um, yeah it's just something really really nice and easy um, and comfortable to wear so yeah that's definitely um, one of my favourite things in my wardrobe at the moment. So this next one I've put in the video because I just wanted to show you um, sort of how you can style um, sort of like what is really a more summery dress um, for autumn winter. So this type of dress and then like also like little pinafores and things I love wearing over the top of um, high neck um, tops like the one I'm wearing now but I'd probably put this over a cream one. Um, yeah and I just think that's a really cool way of layering for autumn winter and that's one of my favourite styles to wear. Um, so yeah any dress like this, any cami dress whether it's like a midi one or a mini one I think looks really really nice sort of over a high neck top. Okay, so moving on to tops, um, you've probably noticed that I've mentioned high neck tops a lot as I've been sort of like talking through the outfits and that's because a high neck top is the literally like the only top that I really wear in autumn. Um, I literally pick them up to wear with everything. So I've got this one on today which I got from Zara. Um, and then I've also got the exact same one in this really nice green colour just if I wanted to add a bit of colour to an outfit I really really like that colour um, and then I've also got a cream one that I wear with some things um, but yeah they are literally like my holy grail of tops for autumn um, so yeah I would definitely recommend having some nice high neck tops in your wardrobe I think I've literally got about four black ones um, but this is my favourite Zara one because it's nice and thick and another top that I found myself wearing a lot lately is this bodysuit which is also from Zara um, I think it's just because of the shade of it like it's a really nice autumnal sort of brown um, and I've been finding myself putting it on like under check shirts like under that one I'd maybe wear that with like the leather shorts, um, under check shirts, under cardigans, like with joggers, with a cardigan over the top. Um, yeah, I seem to keep pulling it out. I think that one's from their Limitless Contour, I think that's what it's called, um, from that range. And yeah, I really, really love that. I think it comes in lots of other colours too. So the next thing that I've got is this check shirt. Um, it was quite hard to choose one because I literally have about 10 check shirts. Um, if you head onto my Instagram and have a look at my reels or have a look at my TikTok, I post them on there as well. Um, you'll see that I did a video of like different check shirt outfits, like different ways to style them. Um, and there's like 10 different check shirts on there because they're literally my favourite thing to wear at the moment. They're just so nice and easy. You can wear it on its own, done up with leather trousers or you can sort of like wear it as a jacket at this time of year as well. Um, when it's not sort of like cold enough for a coat but you want something, a check shirt is perfect. Um, so yeah, I've been loving those at the moment. This one is from Collusion on ASOS, um, which I do find do the best check shirts, but they do sell out quite quickly. Um, I think this one is actually still in stock at the moment. It's not available. I'll just link some other similar ones anyway. Um, but yeah, check shirts is an absolute must. 
the next I've got my favourite cardigan that I've found this year. Um, this one's from Misguided and it's just really nice and chunky um, and really, really warm. And yeah, I just think it looks really nice with anything. So I think I got a size uh, 10 to 12. So I did actually size up a little bit in this one just to make sure it was nice and chunky. Yeah, I really, really love that. It comes in other colours as well. Like I know that they do it in um, like a brown. They've got like a teal colour. Um, I've actually got the mint one that I wore a few times in the summer as well. Yeah, just a really, really nice cardigan and a really good thing to have for autumn and also for winter. Okay, so the next thing that I've got is this jumper, which I got from ASOS. Um, it's really, really nice and oversized. Um, I actually just got my own size in this one, so I've got a size 8 um, and it does fit like quite nice and oversized anyway, so you don't really need to size up. Um, yeah, they've got this one in a few different colours. I've got the lilac one as well, and I just think it's a really nice, like, comfy, easy jumper to chuck on um, with, like, leather trousers or jeans or whatever, really. Okay, so I'm just going to move on now to the jacket. So I have got quite a lot of jackets, but I've pulled out um, what are probably my three favourites for autumn, and then when I do my winter video, I will go through, like, some more coats and things like that. Um, so this one is one that I've been wearing absolutely loads lately. Um, again, I'm just absolutely loving cream, um, and this one is Zara Overshirt. It's quite nice and thick, so yeah, I've just been wearing it as a jacket loads. I love how oversized it is. Um, I've got a size small to medium, and it is literally perfect. So yeah, I guess you can just get your own size, and it is really nice and oversized anyway. Love these little pockets that it's got. You can even wear it like done up with some over-the-knee boots on its own. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it as a jacket. Next thing that I've got is a leather shirt. Um, I've actually got this instead of a leather jacket because, I don't know, I just feel like leather shirts are a bit more of like a 2020 refresh on a leather jacket. And yeah, I just really, really like wearing shirts sort of like over outfits. I think it looks quite casual and cool. Um, but then it is also quite thick as well, so it will keep you nice and warm. I would wear this like over a little summer dress. It looks really cool over like a little floral dress because it toughens it up quite a lot um, with some chunky boots. Um, you could just wear it with like jeans and a top as a jacket. Literally, there's so many ways to wear this. And again, I guess you could wear it like done up um, as like a shirt dress if you wanted to. So yeah, I really, really love that. And then lastly, I've got the Autumn Classic. Um, yeah, the perfect coat for when it's a bit cold, but not that cold. Um, the trench coat, literally wear these year after year. I don't think they're ever going to go out of fashion, so it's definitely a good idea to invest in one of these. Um, this one I got from Zara last autumn. Um, but what I'll do is I'll find some similar ones and tag them in the description. Chuck it over, I could chuck it over this, I could chuck it over probably any of the outfits here, and it would look really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's definitely my favourite coat to wear in the autumn. So yeah, that is my autumn wardrobe essentials. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, as I said, I'm going to link everything in the description. Um, if there's anything that's sold out, I'll find an alternative and I'll also put what sizes I got in there as well. Um, just for reference, because I know I always get asked, um, I am size 8 and I'm 5 foot 6. Yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you have, because that really helps. Click subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you soon.